Hey everybody, Miss Dietrich here. We're taking a look at question number eight. A triangle has an area of 64 square feet. The base and the height are cut in half. What is the area of the triangle now? And they give us, you know, a bunch of options. Now there's a shortcut that I'm going to show you that has to do with what do we do about this idea that we're taking the dimensions and we're taking half of it. Half, let's write what that looks like, would look like this. Now, did you know that since area is two-dimensional, if we square a half, then that means that we get a fourth. Now, what does that mean? That means that whatever the area of the bigger one is, if we take one-fourth of that, and that's the entire area, it'll give us the area of the smaller one. So 664... And if we find one fourth of that, then we're going to get the area of the smaller one. So let's take out our calculators. Remember, taking one fourth of something is the same as dividing it by four. So if we do 64 and we divide that by four, we get 16. So the smaller one should be 16. If the area of the bigger one is 64, one fourth of 64 is 16. Now, just to help you understand this, let's actually apply this idea to the formula so that it can help your brain process what I'm trying to say. Now, if we know the area to be 64, and we know that we have to have a number, two numbers that we'd multiply together, like these two things together, right, if we took half of it, would have to equal 64. So if I double 64 to get, you know, what, the product of those two numbers would have to be. So we would need two numbers that would equal 128. Two numbers that would multiply to be 128, to be our base and our height. So two numbers that would multiply to be 128. If we take 128 and let's say we divide it by, you know, how about we do, try dividing it by 8, for example. Let's take 128 and divide that by 8. And what do we get? We get a 16 and an eight. So the dimensions could be eight and 16. And if we were to finish this, we would get 64. So if the dimensions on this thing are eight and 16, and we take half of, of these purple numbers, because it does say cut in half, right? So half of this would be eight, and half of this would be four. Now let's apply these purple numbers to the formula to show you how this works, this idea of squaring this, let's find the area of the smaller triangle use these, using these purple dimensions. If we substitute the new numbers into the formula, the base is four and the height is eight. And let's make sure that we get the number we're proposing, which is 16. So if we take half of this, we get two and two times eight does equal 16. Right, so that kind of confirms it, right? So if the original one had an area of 64, the smaller one is going to have an area of 16. Why? Just to kind of sum up the shortcut on this. The shortcut is to take this and square it. And if we square a half, that's the same thing as a half times a half, we get one-fourth. So it's not an accident that one-fourth of 64 is 16. All right, hopefully you found this helpful.